11 students of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College are on paid internship to increase their knowledge and understanding of St. Lucia's response to climate change impacts. This activity is the final component of the Youth in Climate Change project spearheaded by the Department of Sustainable Development. This phase of the project is super important because once again, we're taking 11 absolutely amazing young people from the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College and we're placing them at various government agencies to actually develop the climate change policy and implement some of those that have already been developed. We want them to understand that climate change is more than the environment. Within St. Lucia, we have 10 climate priority sectors that many persons might not always remember, might not always think about. And I'll just repeat them for you that are listening now and you'll understand how the young people are working within the space. So we have water, agriculture, fisheries, health, education, tourism, infrastructure and spatial planning, and resilient ecosystems. So across those eight sectors, those are eight adaptation, and our two mitigation sectors are transportation and energy. We have young people who are working in those sectors to develop a range of projects because we want them to understand that climate change affects everyone and everything, and it's a cross-cutting issue. But most importantly, we want the youth to be able to be a part of the development of our policy and then the implementation of it. That was project coordinator Annika Ben, who is also the in-country facilitator for St. Lucia's nationally determined contribution to adapt to climate change. Youth inclusion in the development and implementation of climate change policy is one of the cross-cutting commitments of St. Lucia's updated NDC. Another component of the Youth in Climate Change project involved the youth-led visits to all 26 secondary schools on island, making climate change presentations. We have been able to do this at the community level through school visits to 24 out of the 26 secondary schools. We're hoping to hit the last two out of the park in September. And in this instant, to work with tertiary students and placing them actually in government agencies to work. The final phase, um, we have been able to connect at least three of the youth leaders who participated in the first phase, the school visits. We have been able to connect them to international opportunities to now represent St. Lucia. So we have built their capacity as it relates to their knowledge of what is climate change, what are the impacts of climate change, and what St. Lucia is doing to respond. The activities of the Youth in Climate Change Project are funded by UNICEF to the tune of U.S. $39,034. For the Department of Sustainable Development, I am Jessie Leons reporting.